Let us begin as we live in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I just want to take this opportunity to welcome a happy Father's Day to all, all of our dads. And just as a reminder, we're offering our Masses this weekend for our deceased fathers, as well as our fathers who are still blessed to be with us. So as we prepare to receive Jesus in this Eucharist, let's first call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you heal the contrites. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you reconcile the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to our last day. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished in your love, Lord, we revere your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those who set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord of Jest drove out of the storm and said, Who shut within the doors of the sea? And when it burst forth from the womb, when I made the clouds its garment, and thickness of darkness its swaddling bands, when I set limits for it, and fastened the bar of its door, and said, Thus far shall you come, but no further. And here shall your proud ways be stilled. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. God.
Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us. Once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him, for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on we regard no one according to the flesh. Even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him, so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Or to be a good example to follow. 
And I think that it was through the intercession of St. Joseph so much for my own father that he continued to strive to be that man, the head of the household, even when it seemed to be overwhelming. I know for my own father, it was in those times that it seemed like we as a family were taking on far more water than we could, and it looked as if we were going to perish because of one thing or another. He was not afraid to wake Christ in prayer and call out where he knew he was weak and that his faith would be strengthened and his love could be what stabilized those times in our lives. Prayer was never far from the lips of my father. And I think in the gospel today, Jesus reminds us that he only sleeps to show us the peace that is our lives. And he will wake in the times of our greatest need. But as I said, my father would relay always to St. Joseph as the model of how to be the head of the family. And this year, as we celebrate the year of St. Joseph, many reflections have become our way. And one that I really want to share with you on this Father's Day is when we think of our fathers, we certainly think that of them still in a traditional fashion, that they are the breadwinners. What does that mean? It means they win bread for us. They go out from the home so that they can bring what we need to be nurtured and strengthened as a family. A friend of mine who is an engineer and we know that they are very special people. And each and every time he had a change in his life, he said, I always revert back to the one thing we did at work, and it was to work the problem. To come for a solution, you must work it simply to come to that conclusion. And I like to think of the father as the one who continues to work the problem of their own lives so that they can be the model that we can follow and work the problem of day in and day out challenges, especially in our world, now as we see it. St. Joseph as a worker had three very special, simple tools in his time. He had the draw knife, the square, and the hammer. And fathers, these three tools should reflect for you on what you were called to be as the worker of the problems, as the head of the families in your home. The draw knife was like a lathe. It was to clean the outside of the wood to get to the perfect shape and the perfect need as that wood became a new creation at the hands of the carpenter. When Joseph used a draw knife, he saw it as a reflection of himself, that as he uncovered the outer layers in humility, he could see what God had called him to be, the providence of following his will. The square is an important tool for any carpenter, and without it, you have more than just simply a crooked house or a crooked, wobbly table, it will serve for nothing. But Joseph used the square to remind us of the importance of righteousness. Joseph always squared himself up with, with what God has commanded and has taught. Righteousness is not a self-esteem. Righteousness is knowing that one becomes holy by doing what God wants from us in his love and truth. Fathers, the square is the way for which Joseph teaches us that even when it seems almost impossible, even when it seems that the boat is taking on more water and the wind is stronger than the sails, if we stay and remain square in the will of God, we can still accomplish great things. And the hammer, the hammer is not something that we use as to beat it into submission, or the hammer is not something that we use to fix mistakes. 
the time of St. Joseph, the hammer was simply used to make the wooden pegs bind together the other products in wood to make the final piece of furniture or the work complete. Fathers, the hammer is so important for you to continue to bind together the different parts of the family. But the nails that we use today, as Joseph used pegs, are really the gifts of faith, hope, and love. For they are fitted into the separate lives that make us family. So what should be our mission as we celebrate the feast of St. Joseph's Day, if you will? the day that we honor our fathers. I think first and foremost, dads, we want to thank you and continue your mission, even when it seems you're overwhelmed, because you can always count on Christ to awaken within you, to give you the strength to calm the storms around us, your family. Secondly, never take yourself too seriously that the next day cannot be a new beginning. My dad used to always say, John, you know why I like baseball? No, Dad, why do you like baseball? Because we're playing again tomorrow. Remember, a new start is always the humility that is necessary. A new commitment to righteousness is to square up our lives so that we may continue on the way of the foreign family. And finally, our mission should be that we pray in thanksgiving for the gift of the Father in heaven, but for St. Joseph who gives us a true witness, someone that we can truly follow, even when we're weak, to continue the mission in the church. I want to thank the fathers for the jobs that they do. Let us pray for our fathers who struggle with their call. And let us pray in a special way for the fathers who continue as priests to serve us if we do these things and we can honor our fathers with whatever kind of card we would like, but we'll honor them more by realizing that they are the model that leads us to know how to pray when the boat is filling with water, to stay in God's will when we have no choice other than His, and also to form families of our own to allow us to be one. Let us now stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten the Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things remain, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the name of Jesus, our Lord, we bring forth our prayers. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church universal, that it would listen to the prophets in its midst and proclaim your word, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those prophets in our world whose warnings are frequently thwarted, that they may be vindicated and their messages followed. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For the church to be a place of welcome, hope, and strength for all who come together to worship, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who desperately need to see justice in their lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, that the purgative love of Jesus Christ will make them perfect in heaven as they look forward to the resurrection of the body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And these things we ask in Jesus' name, who is one with the Father and the Son forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness receive the bread we offer. Fruit to the earth, work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness receive the wine we offer. To the vine and work of human hands come our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart that we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing. Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its actions we may make offering of heart pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born to the virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of the glory as without end we acclaim. <laughs>
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once again giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory.
supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep you safe for eternal life. A spiritual community. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly in you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. At this time, I'd like to extend a Father's Day blessing to all of our fathers. God, our Father, in your wisdom and love, you made all things. Bless these men, that they may be strengthened as Christian fathers, through the example of Joseph, the foster father of your son. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with the spirit of profound respect. And grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and the precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that we may celebrate with constant devotion what we may be sure to pledge as our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us in our course today. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace and glorify Christ by your life. Thanks, Thanks to God. God.